Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green and clean beauty, and I am back with a full face of Hint Beauty. Hint is one of the brands that I am absolutely head over heels in love with. I've been featured on the channel multiple times because they create really high quality, high performing, clean product. I reached out, I got some gifts, I told them I'd give them an honest review, and I'm gonna create this look and tell you what I think about everything I tried because, um, I had some thoughts. I know that's not surprising to you if you follow along regularly. So let's get into it, here we go. Quick heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. Okay, hint is all upon me, it's all in front of me. So I'm going to go and start with the Skin Prep. It's kind of like a primer. Your gel. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells really clean. Ooh, it almost feels like I'm cleaning my face. It's going to set the tone. Very lightweight. It feels really wonderful. It's a little less like a moisturizer than the Jane Iredale Beauty Prep that I use all the time. I really like it. Very lightweight. It's already soaked into my skin and Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It smells like fresh. It just smells fresh. Like, um, I want to say soap, but it's not soap. It's not harsh at all. Okay, so I'm going to go in on top of that with the Sun Prep. I have, it has SPF 25, organic based vegan. It says you can add the concealer to create a foundation tinted moisturizer, transparent finish with excellent adherence. So this is kind of like an SPF version of what I just put on my face. I want to use pretty much everything I got, <laughs> except for the, ooh. Mmm, I smell no typical SPF scent. There's definitely a smell, but it's a light, pleasant smell. Again, very clean, no SPF scent. Wow, that's really, really nice. I give it a second to just sort of do its thing. It's, you guys, it's not even sticky at all. It's really soaked in nicely, and feel is sort of a smoothing of the surface. So far, really good. Let's see how it looks once I apply the rest of what's going on. So I'm gonna take the Hint Duet Perfecting Concealer. I'm gonna use this a little bit like a foundation. I also received their powder foundation, but this is one of my all-time top number one favorite concealers. You guys have heard me probably talk about it unless you're new to the channel. FYI, hi, welcome, so happy you're here. And check out the Hint Duet Perfecting Concealer because it's good. Really, really solid. You can see it's already gotten away all of the discoloration, all of the translucent skin, so it's evening out the lid. I love how I'm drawing out bowels today. I'm on my second mug of coffee. I rarely have one right after the other, but today, cold for it. Not in a bad way. Just, you know, sometimes you want to have a second cup of coffee. Can't have more than two in the morning. I already do half calf anyway, because if I were to have full caffeine, I guess I have a low tolerance to caffeine. I love it, but I don't need much. And then I just go beyond the tipping point where I'm like, ah! nobody really wants to be around that. Certainly not on my videos. <laughs> I'm sparing you all. You're welcome. So lightweight. I mean, the theme right now is really lightweight, really effective, which is just, Another reason why I love Hint. Yes, brand is not paying me to say this. I reached out to them and asked if I could test out additional products. I love them, I love what they're doing, so I'm happy to support them on the channel to do this full face video. And they said, great. So now I'm trying out the rest of what they sent. At the end of the day, getting my honest opinion, it's worth repeating, I suppose. Especially on this platform and other platforms when sometimes that's just not the case, as you know. Minor shade, just evening out the bridge. I don't actually feel like this needs to be continued down the face, but I'll just do it for the sake of the video because I have the prep items on there. I'm using a foundation brush, just washed, so it's still a little bit damp, which is not a tactic. I actually wish it wasn't. And it just kind of goes right in to the other side real fast. And the smell of the sun prep and the skin prep. Ooh, it's so nice. Really, really nice. <laughs> and you guys know I'm big on scent. Okay, so that's on. I'm going to set a little bit under the eye, which I don't normally do for this concealer. It doesn't need it. And I have combination skin. Some concealers really do need it for me, for my skin type. This doesn't. I'm going in with the Lucent Pearl Finishing Powder. I'm going to see how this sets. 
think I need, I mean, it's setting fine. It's doing okay. The concealer is gathering a little bit. I wait long enough before I put on prep over to the concealer so I can see it sitting on top a little, which doesn't normally happen. It's hard because it's in this little container. So hold on, let me. Not as fine as the RMS on powder. It does have more of a pearlescent glow to it. Not a bad thing. Doesn't spread across as well as a couple of the other powders that I've tried. Like as a finish, this is probably way more effective as what it says it is, which is a finishing powder. So the crunchy powder, for instance, super fine. And when I apply it, it glides. I prefer for setting concealer. As of right now, their pearl powder, I think it would be nice as a finishing powder, like it says it should be. It's just for me setting the concealer. Probably won't use it again for that. Little redness, going to cover it up, you know. Okay. If you have super dry skin, the preps that I tried are pretty lightweight and not as emollient as some of the other products that I've tried. And you might want to have an added layer of moisture just saying. I usually like a little bit of a slicker surface. No, that's just me. But if you do have oilier skin or oilier skin, then these would probably be great options for you. I'm just letting you know as I go. So now I have the Encore Fine Press Powder. I have it in the color sand. There is this plastic flap where you have the little sponge, application sponge. Then underneath you have the foundation so it doesn't just like sit on top of the product itself. Nice little design. Let's put this on my face. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm really feeling the powder foundation these days. Okay, let's take a closer look. I would say it's light to medium coverage, not heavy coverage. I'm not seeing a ton of ability to build on it. I don't want to look too powdery, you know? It's evening things out. I think the primers are helping. It's totally soaked away into the skin. I mean, like, I don't even know they're there anymore. Mind you, I, I've applied powder, so it's probably sucked it up a little bit. Yeah, it definitely evened out really well. It did a good job. It still looks like skin, which is very important to me. Best for evening out, primer smooth surface. But overall, as you can see, it totally evened things out for me. So that was great. Loving it. This is a good option. My first impression too. So you guys know I like to try things out for a while before I get back to my final verdict. Oh, so far you can see the results. It's looking pretty, pretty evened out pretty foundation to did. Next, before I get to their mascara, I do want to apply a little bit of liner. I don't have the hint liner, so I'm going in with my Vapor Mesmerize liner. I'm gonna do like a, a hack job here. Really light, not even really focused on it, you know? Opposite of precise. I love this eyeliner for a soft everyday look, and now I'm going on the other eye. getting it literally everywhere. And then, just a little bit of extra definition. Again, very, very soft. This is for the ladies out there who just want quick and easy and they want their lashes to look a little bit fuller. I don't know people who aren't like that. I'm gonna go in with their mascara. This is the Nocturne Mascara Black. Mm, I like that kind of a wand. I actually love this type of a brush. It's thicker bristles. And uh, let's see how this performs. I am not putting primer on before. Call me crazy. Nice, nice application of product. Formula is smooth. I'm seeing a little bit of clumpiness. But that's just me. I tried the Honest Mascara and it never clumps on me. And for some people they're like, oh my God, all it does is clump on me. I don't know why lashes are that different, but okay. Foundation I could see performing really different on different skin types, but like mascara, I always find that really interesting. Why? I wanna know why. This is going on really well. I have one coat-ish, a little bit more, on this side. Let me go in on the other side and then I'm going to do a second coat. Very nice, really, really nice mascara. Okay, let's see what two coats looks like. Like a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, it's getting a little clumpy after two coats. Right at the tips, you know, where you get those little balls of mascara, but it goes away if you just touch it with your finger very lightly. This is working really well. Great mascara. It's not the best thickening that I've tried. It's not the best lengthening that I've tried. I will say though, it is probably one of the best combination of both. Amazing. I don't see that often. Wow, okay, this is looking 
pretty good. I really love this mascara, you guys. I'll have links and prices and everything below. All we have left is eyeshadow. We have bronzer. Finish it off, set it, and then I'm gonna do lip. I'm obsessed with this new lip color, but I'll start with the eyeshadow. So I have this new Sweet Six Sahara. Sahara? Who are you? Are you? I'm like becoming Madonna and speaking with that accent. Sweet Six Sahara. So this is six different shades, and they are really, really beautiful. They're all very different, actually. You have your mattes, you have your metallics. These are a little bit more dramatic, darker. You can use these as eyeliner too. Middle of the road, metallic. These will highlight the middle of the lid. You can use them in multiple different ways. Then over here you have your neutrals, which is like a mauve and a creamy peach tone. I'll go a number of different ways with this palette. I mean, I could have done liner with these over here easily, but I didn't think about that. Whoops. I think I'm gonna do this little mauve color here because it's kind of my favorite color in the world. And then I'm going to see what the peach and the metallic sort of gunmetal color looks like. It's almost olive and gunmetal. So I'm gonna try this mauve color and I'm going in with, I have no idea what brush this is, but here we go, into the crease. Into the crease, here we go. Okay, so it starts off and you're like, where is it? But then it builds. Soft color, pretty. There's not a lot of kickback in the pan either which I like. I don't like when it flies everywhere. Nice, subtle, very subtle, which I guess I'm not surprised at. Of course, that could be the brush too. No, it is a subtle color, even going on with my finger. I love to apply eyeshadow with my finger. Don't tell anybody. Seriously, don't tell anybody. I feel like that's a huge beauty faux pas. Okay, so that's that color. Subtle, nice. How many times can I say subtle? Probably 20 more. I'm gonna go in with the little gunmetal olive color. I'm using the same brush for this, but put this on the corner. Oh, okay. That's definitely paying off more than the first set of colors, which I think is as it should be because each of these combinations meant to have a different effect. You get a lot of different options in one six pan or six color rather palette. It's three pans, which actually is kind of brilliant because you don't have to have separate you know, like who finishes all the colors anyway i kind of like this kind of half and half thing smart so as you can see that added a little bit more coolness a little bit more metallic and shine I'm gonna blend it out really lovely i feel like you could do a thousand different things here i'm just gonna keep it relatively basic i'm gonna go in with that peach coral color because this i think is gonna be like the most fun Ooh, this looks rose gold on the lid cat is on top of the camera. Wow, I've gone overboard on my eyeshadow today then. Whatever. This is beautiful. This could also be a bronzy blush highlight. If you wanted to put it on your face, girl. Just saying. Or you could have just been peach all the way with a peach. This is beautiful. I love this color. I haven't tried a color like that. This is really nice. It's almost creating an ombre effect. I know that they were trying to capture all the different colors in the desert sky as the sun setting. So we have another sunset moment, which is definitely a trend out there in beauty. And I am a huge fan of the palette. I'm gonna just test the last two and see. Whoa, okay. Don't be swayed by the fact that I said the payoff wasn't that major. Really what I'm seeing here is that this is kind of where you start on your neutrals. Then you go into the middle, you definitely get metallics and further color payoff. And at the end you have real strong contouring, lining, shading, smoking out shades. You can see it sort of just kind of dials up the further you go across the palette. Really like it, really like it. Eyes are done, I'm talking a lot. We're gonna do a little bronzer. I'm using the Hint Solar Bronzer Lare. I really should have asked them how to say it. <laughs> hey guys, can I try some samples? Also, how do you pronounce your bronzer? Lar? A? A. I love this bronzer. It's warmer, the loose powder, a little bit goes a long way. It does have a little bit of metallic, so if you are not looking for that, you're not gonna wanna use this. But I happen to love it. It's definitely one of my favorites. I featured it in my top bronzers a couple months ago, three months ago. I need to keep doing those. I've just warmed everything up. Really good and honestly, I barely used any. Now I'm going to just finish everything off with Lumiere. <laughs> honestly, the I butcher these names, so sorry brands, but um, the Lumiere Radiance Boosting Powder. It's not a highlighter, it's just one of those. Wow, this powder still stayed on my finger. Ooh, one of those fun lit from within glows. Sometimes you can get that from a foundation. Sometimes you can get that from a bronzer. 
This is almost like the finishing powder, like the pearl finishing powder. I would use this in place of that. This is nice. Is it 100% a necessary step? Is it the game changer? Probably not. I'd say other products that I've tried here are. It doesn't create a shine. It actually very much so stands up to the name. It really is creating this kind of lit from within glow. I'm glowing. Really subtle, very much so like a setting powder. Like a setting powder I would wanna keep using. I really like it. Final the lipstick. So I have the Aria Pure Lipstick in Tierra Blush. So cool, on one end it has this balm, which I love because sometimes, you know, your lips need a little moisture and a little love. As I like shove it on there. It's nice to have in one little convenient package. And this shade is, mm-hmm. Also, you see it remaining there? It is almost like a stain in the best way possible. I am so, I've been using this for a couple of days. I am so impressed by this. I've also been telling everybody that I've been sitting next to anywhere, strangers, friends, whatever, colleagues, how much I love it. Very creamy going on. It's really lovely, rich rose color. And you know, it's rich in formula as well. No joke, and I said this on my Instagram stories, this to me was a huge standout product from the bunch. I love this color. Perfect everyday color for me and what I am looking for. I'm in love with it. Just wanted to sort of save the best for last and lips really kind of just pull everything together. So first of all, so I have to say thank you to him for generously gifting me with these items and for being really open to me giving an honest review on them. I also want to call out a few standouts here. Mascara, really strong. The powder foundation, I love it. It is not serious, serious coverage, but I love how my skin looks like skin. And I also say the eyeshadow palette, really good. You guys already know I love the concealer and the bronzer. Those are kind of like musts. Then the lip color, also amazing. Skin preps for me, I think the sun prep would probably continue because of the SPF 25. It's really great for summer, high humidity places, it soaks in. I longed for a little bit more moisture, which I can get with my Jane Iredale Beauty Prep or a different primer or a tinted moisturizer. I'm just getting warmed up with all of these anyway. Overall, those would be my standout products from the bunch. And I love Hint. I continue to really love this brand. And that's kind of all I have to say about that. So this is the full face Hint Beauty right now with the latest and greatest. And I'm gonna leave it right there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. And I cannot wait until I get to see you guys again real soon, right back here. Until then, bye.